up everyone? Today I'm doing a rapid review of Fragile X Syndrome. Fragile X Syndrome, the most common inherited cause of intellectual and developmental disability, starts with a single gene on the X chromosome. Fragile X is caused by a change in the FMR1 gene. At one end of this gene, a three-letter DNA code, CGG, is repeated over and over. Normally, this repeat happens a small number of times. In Fragile X, however, this repeat expands to an unstable and sometimes very large number. Now, the gender of the parent transmitting the gene is also a critical factor for whether the CGG repeat will expand. For Fragile X, the CGG repeat is unstable when passed from a mother. If she carries a pre-mutation, the repeat number can expand to a full mutation in her children, putting them at risk for Fragile X syndrome. Now here's how the different repeat ranges affect a person. First, there's the normal range, which is five to 44 repeats. The gene functions correctly and produces the necessary protein. Next, we have the intermediate range, which is 45 to 54 repeats. This is a gray zone and does not cause fragile X, but carries a slightly higher risk of expansion in future generations. Then we have our pre-mutation range, which is 55 to 200 repeats. These individuals do not have fragile X syndrome, but the expanded repeat can cause other associated health problems. And lastly, we have the full mutation range, and this is more than 200 repeats. This large expansion causes the gene to shut down completely, preventing it from producing the FMR1 protein, which is essential for brain development. Now the full mutation is what causes Fragile X syndrome, but the pre-mutation can also have serious consequences. There are two notable conditions linked to the pre-mutation. The first is FX TAS or Fragile X associated tremor and ataxia syndrome. This is a late onset neurological disorder seen more commonly in older male pre-mutation carriers. Symptoms include progressive tremors, balance and walking problems, memory loss, and cognitive decline. The other is FXPOI or Fragile X Associated Primary Ovarian Insufficiency. This condition affects female premutation carriers and involves reduced function of the ovaries. It can cause irregular menstrual cycles, subfertility, and premature menopause. To remember the classic symptoms of Fragile X syndrome, think of the word face. F, which would stand for facial features, and this can include a long, narrow face and a prominent jaw and forehead. A, for autism features, such as limited eye contact, hand flapping, and social anxiety. C, for cognitive and connective tissue problems. This covers intellectual disability, flexible joints, and flat feet. And then E, for ears, which are often large and everted. And that's your rapid review. Hit that like and subscribe button for more study tips. Feel free to share your tricks in the chat and I'll see you next time.